Hello everybody, Berto Kai here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so in the last episode, we did quite a bit of stuff. We found more punch cards for Evelyn over, Evelyn over here. Then we went to um, rescue some VIPs. Uh, we get to choose who we were going to rescue. That was kind of interesting. Um, we also rescued a little girl and uh, the robot AI investigator there. Um, he, uh, he unfortunately met his demise, but he saved us in the process. So, I guess we're gonna have to go and see- Oh, that's not where my car is. Where is my car parked? It's parked in the back. That's true. So we're gonna have to go see, uh, Control now, because he gave us a new mission, but Control seems a little funny now. He doesn't seem like he what he used to be. Um, I'm thinking maybe he got in trouble for helping us on that last mission where we got that address or whatever, and, uh... Yeah, I think they might have erased him. That would really suck. Um, because he seemed pretty dry. Pretty pretty dry, alright. Alright, so, here's my car. Let's get in with it. And I'll uh, go to the destination and we'll see what's happening. There's a all terminal right. next to a beacon. It looks like the one we... We used to talk to Cora. Yes, there's nothing else here. We are getting a message from Control again. Text only. It says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. I guess we gotta fly close to it. Alrighty. That's interesting. What's gonna happen? Um, this right here. I am Cora. Oh. I am not as I once was. You again. Did you pretend to be Control? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, oh, cool. computer, and human. And yet, you can't just answer my question. Mm -hmm. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. He was lost. Then he found me. Interesting. You're mad. I have no time for this. Huxley says he wishes you well. Oh, Screw wow. you. I'm leaving. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. I must know what the future holds for this place and for those who follow me. You're a mad old AI with no purpose. <laughs> this may be true. I still must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here and also there. You know the city and the not city. If you say so. True. So answer my question and think carefully on your answer, as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? What? I repeat. Oh. Is Nivalis a city overcome by monsters? No, I think overcome just people that are monsters? lost. No, Cora. Nivalis is the monster. I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said... Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. Huh. So, it's not... See, she just could have doomed the... The whole... The whole city. Really. If you think about it. Like, my God, what was she thinking? Like, no, the people aren't the problem. The city really isn't the problem either. Yes, it's falling apart, but... Oh, I right, see you control us to say, but, you know, hey. Hey, kid, you there? Oh, yeah. Are you the real control or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. Okay. So, you're the annoying real control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? <laughs> I know, I know. But this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Alrighty. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an half point. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, give me an autograph. Don't push your luck. <laughs> ah, where to go control always thinking always thinking all right so let's go check out who our special famous vip is starting to get pretty uh 
pretty important to us, man. We're hauling around all kinds of VIPs now. Let's go check this out. Here we go. Now we're uh, back at the passenger. Uh, so just before we go, I'm just going to show you that uh, we looted the area. So top and bottom, there's like a, a second level up here. We got both of those done. That's good. Let's go see what this passenger is all about. Um, hi. Hi. My name is Rania. I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. Nice. Not a word. Nothing. Wicked. Deliver your passenger. I can't believe it is first. really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? Dolly. You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I'm <laughs> sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm oh sure God. she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. There is more to life than material success. Awesome. Says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional <laughs> question? You may. All right, where am I going? On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Metal skin, scales or rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Does oh the second God. skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Nice. Dolly's new album, Dolly and the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over <laughs> Freaking soon. pre-order. You are moody today. <laughs> no shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? Uh -huh. I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm Good sorry. stuff. I also feel lost sometimes. Or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love... Dolly. Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly. The first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. <laughs> I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you? Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, <laughs> Novalis. Oh, I was man. replaced. I was Dolly before Dolly was taken by the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. Huh. That's when they took control of me. Piece by piece. My name. My face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. Uh -huh. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. Crazy. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Well, what the, the hell? Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so <clears throat> awful. They lied. How, how they is that even legal? Another girl, <laughs> another human. That's she insane. Barely even looks like me. But people will know. No. They don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So, what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. Well, you've I was already going done to that. face them, gatecrash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. 
It'll be hard, but That's true. There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Well, how? Why? Leave the city. Why stay in Navalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I hmm. can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. Well, what do we do? What do we do? The TV show's right here, so we can come here and park and... Make her cause all kinds of crap so she can get her life back. Um, or do we make her go away? Hmm. Let's, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's bring her here. <clears throat> so you're really going in? I have to. Yes. Reclaim your if identity. You around, we could still take you to the vents. No. Running away was never a real option. That's correct. You did Should the right face thing your problems. bringing me here. Yes. I have to face him. Exactly. Dynamite Simpson? What will you say to him? I doubt I'll get a chance to say anything. I just want him to see me and her at the same time. To confront what he did to me. I need to show him that I can be killed, but never erased. My existence is mine. Good for you. Are you mad at her too? The replacement? No, not at all. She is just doing what she needs to do to survive. Hmm. Possibly. I hope he feels guilty when he sees you. I hope he has regret. That won't happen. None. Do you want me to come in with you? Maybe we can try to sneak past reception. I could say I had a delivery. Try to bluff my way past the guards. No, I have to do this alone. Okay. Well, good luck, Dolly. Yes, good Maybe luck. Maybe they will take you back. Maybe you will release the fifth album. No, Camus. That music isn't me anymore. It was never really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. This won't stop me singing. Whether it's for one person or for one billion, it doesn't matter. Deep down, Ronnie knows that too. That's right. They can take almost everything away from you. But if you don't surrender it to them, they can't take away your music. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Way to go, Dolly. We're well said, well said. All right, so that's, uh, you know, another achievement done. We uh, brought Dolly there. I think that's probably a better thing to do, you know. All right, Control, what's going on? Hey, kid, you still surviving out there? Oh, yeah. Just about, Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with Automata? Not for a second. Oh, or no. worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. <laughs> Two more hava crashes in the last hour, and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. Ugh. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? You doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. All right, kid. All right, man. I, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. <laughs> Nothing like a night with Cloud Punk to shift your perspective on what a bad night could be, right? Well, there's a family member Ooh. of Gills that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, you gotta go. Ah, <sighs> remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. All Just right. go and listen, answer their questions, then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. Alright, so uh, Gil, that was the one that walked the escalator, I think, right? That went off the uh, the escalator of... Yeah, of Doom or whatever. Yeah, so let's uh, go over that way and go check that out. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're gonna ask uh, Jill. This is uh, Mrs. Gill. <laughs> Jill Gill, funny. So you were the last person who saw my son alive. Correct. I guess so. Who are you? I'm his mother, Jill. Jill Didn't Gill. Didn't have much imagination when it comes to names. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Why did you call me? Do you want to know why I didn't save your son or something? Because I tried. No, I supported Gil and his choice beyond the clouds. 
That's okay. always been the dream for my family. What? Including you? Well, I had never planned on taking this journey myself. What changed? After my inheritance was taken from me, I was left without enough money to sustain my lifestyle, even after Bill went into the clouds. Bill? Bill Gill? Well, my other son. Oh. <laughs> His insurance payout helped for a while, um. but... You sent both your sons to die? Oh, not to die. To, to soar. soar. <laughs> You're a monster. Oh. I am a dreamer. So were my children. I love them dearly. Please, I must have an answer to my question. I want to ask you but one thing. What? Was he frightened? Did he go with a heart filled with fear or with hope? I would say I don't fear. Think he was afraid. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay. I think he felt abandoned. I think it wouldn't have taken much to keep him here, safe in Navalis. Huh? But it took a lot of work to convince him to go, didn't it? I don't expect you to understand. Well, she I had kids, so Enjoy she could throw journey. them off a cliff. It'll be over before you know it. So she could stay afloat. Yeah, that's that's pretty cruel. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh... Pashta is trying to send you a message. Oh. Well, put her through. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Well, send her a call request. Calling, calling, calling. Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone <laughs> or something. This is very awkward. Calling. What kind of ring? Calling. Tone would you like? Calling. Oh my choose. god. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating the light inside the refrigerator. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? I think so. We left her alone. I am aware of that, Camus. Maybe she is not good when she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. <laughs> we'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and it should be fine for most. Maybe we should get her better water. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. Mm hmm Correct. I agree. We'll go and uh, go straight to the apartment. All right. Well, let's get over here and... Uh... Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. I didn't do it wrong. It must be broken. What's mm -hmm. broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. <laughs> Look, things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's, it's going to be hard on you for a while till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. <laughs> it's okay. You were, but only in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take you away if you don't want to go. I don't want to go. Then there's nothing to worry about. Now, can you read these screens on the front door? I'm going to bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window filters, call me on the comm. Basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Good. Well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep, too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep. You're in charge. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun after I get some sleep. 
All right, well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit <laughs> through the comm when I'm home. Isn't really? he a car? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. That's good, but this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. It's just where we live right now. I understand. Okay, so you're thinking about upgrading, is that it? All right, let's uh, eat a pizza. Ah, oh. that's good. Mm, look at the fish tank. Ah, control. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Let's uh, get out of this Why? area fast. An under net pulse? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudbunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Hathas in this zone. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go. Understood. Oh. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, which way is which way? Quickly get it. Okay. There we go. I could have gone this way. Oh, that's not that bad. Well, what was the other one? By fall bottle. Oh, man. Really? That's like so unimportant. Good hustle, kid. We're going to process your bonus. And we relocated nice. one of our drivers to run the slums from now on. No, no. We can't take the hit of another corpsec fine. That's a demotion, right? For him. For you, it's an opportunity. Don't blow it. Sweet. That's awesome. Alright, so do we go back and get those, uh... We have those a bottles? Call. It is from William. Who? The William? cleaning android. Remember? Oh Why? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I put him through? No. What if it is important? It's only ever bad news, Camus. When was the last time someone messaged us on the comm and things didn't get worse? <sighs> well, there was no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? <laughs> no. The message request says urgent. Fine, put him through. I need you to come back to Avalon Heights. Gone crazy. What Why do you mean they've gone, gone crazy? crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. <laughs> I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual cloud bunk delivery rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. Wonderful. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. Awesome. So I'm going to come here and get those uh, bottles of water. And then I guess... Uh, there's also a few things to pick up here, so I'll grab these few things and then we'll head off to, um... Uh, so head off to go and pick up the android, the vacuum cleaner guy. That um, water was pricey. It was. Alright, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. Awesome. It is made with... I'm exaggerating, Camus. <laughs> what I got. Hmm. Okay, I'm here. What did you need <clears throat> me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. Nice. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should, should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. <laughs> but maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. Mm, that's true. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. True. Good point. You have changed. 
Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but, but you are becoming hard. Are you my conscience <laughs> now? Look, we should keep mm. our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine, keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? What the heck? Yes. It makes them crazy. That's horrible. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. That's not Why good. Why did they unplug the vacuum cleaner? <clears throat> I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. Horrible. The string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. Awesome. How fortunate. Camus, I think you are on to something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. Amazing. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. I'm sure you Perhaps did. Perhaps the food rations were tainted or... Perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated <laughs> air filtration systems. Nerve I gas. Reach the reset switch, oh. which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. Ah, of course I, I can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe Excellent. we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. There we My go. consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building. Far less press a switch. Amazing. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too. And sadly, <laughs> a series of random and unfortunate accidents. He probably home. killed them. Uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know, but I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency mm. isolation switch then. I'm right we there. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. That's not good. Let's just turn this one off. Hello? Are you there, Cloudpunk woman? The lockdown is active. Glad Excellent. I help. What's going to happen to the people in quarantine? Oh, I will be sure to get them help. I am not sure that is true. <laughs> It is true, little dog. And I have transferred payment. So our transaction is complete. Goodbye. Did we do the right thing? No. We did something. I don't think we did the right thing at all because I made like $2,000. So no, I'm, I'm sure we did the very wrong thing. But this playthrough has been pretty much all about doing the whole wrong thing. So let's see what Control has. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Sure. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Okay. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the Spire. I see. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. <laughs> Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloud Park, yes. For you, well... Kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. 
All right, let's go do this then. All right, so let's go get this heart that beats to some music, I guess. That's messed up. Life Corp. I guess this is it right here. Life Corp bot. I'm here to pick up the heart. Now, go. Every second counts. Alrighty. So, I have to get to Midtown. Wicked. So, we can rush there. We, I'm sure I can do this. I got 30 seconds to get there. I can do this. Twenty seconds. Come on. Come on. This is crazy. Come on. Come on. Delivery. I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> You've made someone very happy. Oh, Be nice. Still my beating heart. Wow. If I could, I'd roll my eyes. That's intense. I can't believe I did that. That was just making it. Wow. All right, let me just go around and pick all this stuff up there, and uh, I think that's it. No good, 14 FC. Might as well toss that thing in the trash. What? It's worthless now. Sorry, Control. You'll make the next one. Uh, are you telling me? Like, come on. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's it. I got the achievement. It told me I did it. I guess I just didn't do it in enough time, maybe. Hey, Camus, I found this encrypted key card. Do you think we could read it? I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. So there's no way. <laughs> Scanning. Oh. There are markings on the key card. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He must have lost his Holocash card. CEO. So we will hand it back. I have a nav point for the Spacula HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. Are we going to... I'm still deciding. Well, let's have a look. What'd she say it was? Holo cash? One, seven, nine, eight, five. Only 720 bucks, huh? Well, that's not very much money, so we'll go cancel and uh, we'll go bring it back. I doubt we'll get more, but um, I'm sure, you know, sometimes we need to do some good and less bad. But in the next episode, we'll bring that back and uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.